Morning guys, today I'm going to be showing you a day in the life of a gymnast, however the other day I managed to injure my ankle again, so it's just a day in the life of an injured gymnast. Today I went to see what had actually happened to my ankle because I didn't know exactly what I'd done, so I started off with a nice cup of tea and then we drove straight to the clinic to get my ankle checked out. I had to wait an hour or so but it wasn't too bad and my sister came with me which was really nice. The doctor said it was a ligament sprain and they put me in a splint to reduce the movement of my ankle. They also gave me a recovery plan which had lots of different exercises for me to do each day. I then sat and did loads of colouring oh my gosh i absolutely love coloring i actually find it so relaxing and what else am i gonna do at the moment whilst you're watching me finish the page i'm going to explain what i actually did to my foot and what the doctor said had happened so basically a few days before i filmed this video i was at an audition and at the end of the audition we showed some tumbling skills and this was on hard ground i decided to do a round of flick full twist and i landed short and I felt my ankle go. Bearing in mind, around this time last year, I did a very similar thing. It was also with a full twist, and I never got my ankle checked out. But this time it felt a bit worse, and I couldn't walk on it. When I went to the doctors, I had an x-ray, and the doctor told me that I had sprained the inside of my ankle. She also pointed out that there was an old injury on my foot as well, and it was actually a fracture. So I thought, oh, that must have been when I hurt my ankle last year. But then it was actually on the other side of my ankle. So I never actually felt that happen. I have no idea when that was or anything. Luckily, the doctor said that I didn't need the crutches anymore and I could start putting weight back on my foot. I decided to do a full body stretch because I got really bored of just sitting down. I then did a handstand workout and you're probably thinking, Hannah, you've just injured yourself. Why are you doing handstands? So reason number one, I just couldn't resist. But more importantly, because I've been doing handstands for so long, I've done like probably over a million handstands in my life. I feel confident that I can control them. And I didn't at any point use my injured foot to kick up or land on. I started to get a bit hungry so I made myself some lunch. I decided to make some cauliflower fritters, these are actually so nice. And here's a clip of me failing to separate the egg whites from the yolk, yeah it just didn't really go to plan. I added some spinach and yeah this looks absolutely disgusting and I'm not a chef but they actually tasted amazing. I made a salad to go with it and added things like protein and pumpkin seeds and chia seeds because apparently they're good for injury recovery so I want to recover as quickly as possible so I'm going to try everything I can. Here's what they look like, they were delicious. When I'd finished my lunch I decided to do a mini workout and did exercises where I didn't have to put any pressure on my foot. In the evening I took a shower and then I went to meet my friend Ella for dinner. My dad kindly drove me because I obviously can't drive at the moment. Here's me and Ella in Wagamama's, it was delicious. I literally get the chicken ramen every time I go there because I'm scared that if I get anything else it's not going to be as good as the chicken ramen. Then I went home and I did my ankle exercises that I've been asked to do by the doctor. These are to keep my ankle moving so it doesn't go stiff and it should also start to strengthen it back up. I need to try and remember to do these about four times a day.
that is pretty much all I did. I just went to bed after this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment any more ideas that you have. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you next Friday. Bye!